hours of secret audio recordings, thousands of pictures are shedding new light in how prosecutors are shaping their case against Jonathan Quillis. Evidence photos show the inside of cars with what appears to be blood on the seat and a young woman's clothes. They document the weeks long and ultimately fruitless search of a west side landfill and show images of a handgun next to a rock at what appears to be Quillis's home. Portions of Quillis's answers are redacted in the secret recordings taken by jailhouse informants. In one exchange, though, he tells his cellmates that investigators found his DNA on his missing niece's underwear. They said that they, they did my DNA that I gave them, and they, they tested to that kit that they already had on her underwear, and after my DNA came up on that. How do your DNA end up that's in her family? That's what... That's what's baffling to me because... She could have... She, one, honestly, honestly, real, just real talk. Mm -hmm. One last time you had, they would have probably took her to get killed. Uh, wow. Uh, honestly, let me tell you what the DNA came from. In other exchanges, inmates are heard asking him if he, quote, cleaned up and why he decided to kill her. But Quillis isn't heard confirming or denying those details. You know what I mean? You think she was in the chair? Why did you fuck with her? If you didn't think she was going to chill, or you just felt like it was going to hit the fan and lay on, she's pregnant. Willis is heard saying that Sawyer was five months pregnant. She and her unborn baby still have not been found. Quillis is due back in court on March 10th. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.